here. Thank you, Izzy. Limit as h approaches zero, four x to the third. Oh, that cancels, so I don't need that. What else cancels? Help me out. The hundreds, gone. What else? 10 x, what else? 2x squared, okay? So now, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just, uh, I'm gonna divide by h as I go also. I'm doing a lot in one step here. 12x squared h, just gives me 12x squared plus 12xh plus 4h squared plus 4x8x plus 2h minus 10. Okay, I think that's it, isn't it? equals, okay, now, as h gets closer to zero, that gets closer to 12x squared. What's this get closer to? No, it's nothing, because h the, being zero wipes it out. This gets closer to, oh, shush, nothing. What's this get closer to? 4x. What's this get closer to? Zero, okay? And that, that gets closer to? Okay, so there's my derivative. Let's add to my list. I would really love to have been there when Sir Isaac Newton or Mr. Leibniz saw the shortcut because they probably had to think, holy cow, this is way too easy of a shortcut. To get rid of all of this with a really easy shortcut, they had to go, this, this, this could not be correct. Let me do another to confirm. Blah. Oh my gosh, this is, this is great, this is great, okay? And yeah, those two people were actually discovering calculus on their own in two different spots, unaware of what the other person was doing. And it was, I think that's kind of neat, okay? So, does anybody see a shortcut? Let me give you another example. I know the shortcut, so I'm just gonna share with you so if I had 10x to the third minus 7x squared plus 4x minus 31, my derivative would be 30x squared minus 14x plus 4. You see it, JT? Yeah. Okay, JT. Right. Okay. I'm gonna put one up. You wanna give it a shot? Yeah, I'll give it a shot. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I, I'm just gonna put one up and, and let's, 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 let's I'm, I'm not trying to put you on the spot, but you're nodding like you see it, which I, I. Do you know what the first term is? B plus 10. There you go. Okay, so can you tell them how you got 14x? Well, with the square, I just put times 2, because with the 3, you went times 3. Okay, so here he saw the 3 times 10 gave me 30. So this, the 2 times 7, gives me 14. And then here, it, the x to the third went down to x to the second. So this one, the x squared, went down to just x. And then this one here, my 10x to the first, 1 times 10 is 10. And then this power changes down to x to the 0. What is anything to the 0 power? Nothing. No, it is 1, which is, multiplicity is nothing. Okay? So let's do another one. Um, 6x to the fourth minus 3x to the third plus 10x squared plus 2x minus 
pi. Okay, what's my first term of my derivative? 24x to the third. Minus 9x squared. Plus 20x. Plus 2. But what happens to the pi? It's gone. Because pi is not a variable, it's a number. Just like 15 is a number, just like negative 31 is a number. So here's the rule. This is what's called the power rule. Okay? If I have r times x to the n, you guys tell me, what's my derivative? Just follow your rules. So now we just got to do it in terms of variables. You, ha you, you just did it. And... Okay. Okay, now this was, you took 4 times 6, right? Yeah. So what would I write here? R times n, or n times r. X to the... N minus 1. That's the power rule. Degree times your coefficient. Drop your degree 1. There's my derivative. Boom. Forever and always. Okay? So... Um, I wonder what kind of time I've got. Five minutes? Yes, I do. Thank you. So I'm just going to give you several of these just to let it sink into your brain. Okay? Otherwise, it's just going to bounce off the surface. So I'm just going to give you some functions to do overnight, and you're going to give me the derivative. Okay? And tomorrow we're really going to blow your mind on something else. Okay, so here we go. 7x to the 6th, write these down because you're going to need them. 7x to the 6th plus 5x to the 3rd minus 10x squared plus 4x minus 2. Next one. 10x to the 8th minus 7x to the 5th plus 4x to the third, minus 2x, plus 71.874. Okay. Um, um, what the heck? Uh, I'm going to give you guys a little stumper here in just a little bit. Um, 5x to the 7.5. Ooh. Ooh, I gave you a decimal in the, in the exponent. Oh my gosh, what are we going to do? Hmm. <laughs> the same thing. It doesn't matter. You do the same process. Okay, just those three is fine. Yes? Coming tomorrow morning. Yeah. Um, remember, it's one you can do anytime, but if you want to do it during the morning, you can. Okay. I just don't have any rule. That's fine. I, I'm, I'm not saying you should. I'm just, yeah. just communicating. How long do you think? Like, I mean, I have like a free period tomorrow for this Friday, but it's like, it'd be like 30 minutes. Okay. How long did it take you yesterday? About 25 minutes? Really? 20 minutes? Okay. Could I do it like yeah, I'm fine with that. Next I have band. Okay. And uh, we got done this year music contest, so I obviously have to take it to the And you graduated from music, right? And I'm graduating, so I'm even half play that. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, get over here, you got one last job. <laughs> oh. They, they call me down from the streets. Hey. Hey, come here. Hey. Come here, we need a drummer. <laughs> Guitar player, we need something. 
Okay.